Welcome back, Snoop True. I got my baddie friend with me. <laughs> yeah, we got, some, we got some delicious pot pies. He's like, I'm hungry, I'm starving. The truth. <laughs> Hold on, let's get a prayer. Thank you, Lord, for this food I'm about to receive. Amen. I, I got the three piece wing. And then these are so small, too, but. I got a two piece. They gave me two uh, breasts. It's a lot, bro. I really don't like wings, but like you said, a brother is hungry. And the mac and cheese look phenomenal, so I'm going to have to dog this. The mac? Yeah. You know, it's funny. as we need we a little salt and pepper, but it's cool. At, as we thumbing just now. Hey, how they be on them um, channel? Oh! <laughs> oh. That's how I feel. I'm that hungry. Andrew Zimmerman, that's how he, that's why he my favorite um, host. But yeah, as we just filming, Dalvin just texted me. And today's his birthday. We're going to film the day of and it's kind of sad because we was trying to throw him a surprise party. Oh yeah. And we what did you do? We put a lot of work into it. We got we got dancers. We got tigers. I don't know if the tigers was gonna come through because of federal regulations, but um, we got the Hennessy. We got Remy. What else? Did, what else we grab? Some Casamigos. Casamigos. Oh yeah. We got some champagne. We got some Moat. About to turn up like it was New Year's again, and then we we got a um a venue with a pool, hot tub. We invited like not like wow. his yeah. best friends in the city, some people mm -hmm. he don't know, <laughs> some subscribers from the tube, and it was about to be lit. Next thing you know, and it's a surprise too, so he don't know that we're doing this. Next thing you know, he posts some pictures on a plane. <laughs> Next thing um, you know, I, I see him in Vegas. Vegas. Having a ball. Ball. Like I'm like, man. You about to Taking miss him. this party. My dad, when I grow up, I want to be just like you. <laughs> <laughs> Kicking it. Just, he was in a private jet too, wasn't he? I think it was private. Damn. God. Cold, bro. So now what are we gonna do about this party? <laughs> We're gonna celebrate in his name. We're gonna celebrate in <laughs> your name. You don't have to watch the snaps. And so happy birthday. I bet it's nice in uh, Vegas too, but happy birthday, uh Dalvin. Zeddy Chung Chung. One more year and you'll be 30. I'll be 30 next month, so. I make it old. <laughs> what is you? Uh-huh. <laughs> I always yep. told myself I'm gonna say my age. Man. Delete that shit. <laughs> 30 is the new 20. Is it? I feel like I look younger than a lot of young dudes. But I, I, I think a young dude who's playing college basketball, I say he he 20? <laughs> he look like he can be my father or my mama. I was at work and one of the dudes was like, How old are you? I was like 30. You don't look 30. I feel disrespected when people tell me I look young. You don't look young. Because no. I feel like, I mean, I don't, that don't hurt my feelings. I've never, <laughs> I've never been the type of person to like care about my age or feel that I was old. I always felt like, even when I was like a young kid, like 16, mm -hmm. I always felt like old age is when you're not mobile yeah. and you can't do for yourself. Oh no, it's a great thing to get old. I want to get old. I want to get real old. I don't. I don't want to leave. Or I want to go. I want to die in my sleep, like uh, the Titanic, like that lady on the Titanic. At the end, she just fell asleep after she got done telling the story. That's how I want to go. I want to tell my story and just. just I want to be able to sleep on my mind. Cause one thing that you learn, cause I worked with uh, Stan. He was Stan the man. But you learn now uh, something I've learned even at a younger age because old people they um appreciate little things like birds flying and the weather um, <laughs> and butterflies. Not all I haven't early. seen a monarch here in years. My great uncle, he old, you know, he be trying to kick people out. He's like, he don't want people to come see him or nothing. He just like stay in his crib. Long time. Why? 
just owning, just don't like people. I can see though why I'm, like, I, you get so old, they can be like, people that disappointed you so much, people just like, man, I just want to sit in my house and watch good times all day. That's, that's what they do. That's kind of sad. Yeah. If I like when coming across old people, one, they'll have a conversation with you for hours. I'm like, man, you never want to be lonely. Like at that age, because probably a lot of people, when I say that age, I mean like 75 plus, because my grandpa like 75 and he's still up kicking it, having a ball, laughing. You have a grandpa? Yeah. Doesn't everybody? I mean, that's a lie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On my mom's side. Oh. Oh. Yeah, my um, grandpa Rudy died years ago. Mm. I think when my dad turned like 40, and he always said, you don't become a man until your dad dies. And life starts out. That is terrible. What? I don't become a man until my dad died. That's horrible. You never heard that? That's the saying. Mm -mm, you never heard that. I don't like that one. I want my dad to see me be a man. Why well, I gotta die? He can watch over you. Your dad gonna be hating. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Look at him. <laughs> you don't know. Supposed to be working, but he over here eating on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> what is this YouTube? No, I'm just <laughs> Bro, if my dad ever see our videos, he would think this is like a diss track. <laughs> he like granddad. Boom, that's, stop hating to get money, money. <laughs> you you doing videos with your dad would be hilarious, especially if he was just himself. Oh yeah, he, and my dad is hilarious too. Mm -hmm, yeah. He talked about Dre and Drill so bad. Mm -hmm, Dre froze up. <laughs> he froze up. My uncle was like. Hey man, you shouldn't even be messing with him, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Nah, cause Dre. One thing, if you ever have friends that have gone to prison for a long time, <laughs> they come out acting like the they same. did when they went in, and it's like, you know, that was seven years ago. I'm 30 now, buddy. Right. We not childish no more. Right. I had a friend. I'm not gonna say his name. That did, and he came out pretty childish. <laughs> but you, I mean, you learn fast, you know. Yeah, you gonna come out to no. VR headsets and no, Dre gonna get out talking about people. We gonna be fifty years old when he get out. I'm like, oh boy, yeah. And I'm like, bro, I'm fifty. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we don't do that anymore. <laughs> we got kids. Dude now. got kids. <laughs> Kid having that. I don't know what. We supposed to. Dude got grandkids. <laughs> What? <laughs> you done missed out on like 20 years, brother. <laughs> they still preserved and shit. What if you go to jail for 20 years, but you don't age? And when you get out, you still the same age. You know <laughs> I said, we should make a movie like that. I'm going. The life sentence and come out and you still the same, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, jail is terrible. I remember I went for a weekend. <laughs> <laughs> we went for a weekend. Oh yeah, well, we went for him. Oh dude was in there. He like, you gonna eat by dinner time? I said, I'm not gonna eat this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to the um what you call them with the guards like, is this this is unacceptable? <laughs> guard! Guard, look at this food. This is what you're serving us? Like I'm thinking I'm the, bar, like, bro, it's, they, the guard like it's jail. Man. They put his plate down, he said, I'm not eating that. <laughs> he said, give me some uh Y'all ain't got no chicken. What's on the menu? Like, can y'all call Jimmy John's? Like, <laughs> <laughs> ain't no uh, pizza Fridays. <clears throat> this is jail. I I think jail is just super hectic because you like when you was a kid, you go from being a kid to getting in, going to time out or being a punishment for two or three days to being an adult and doing twenty years. Like, <laughs> that's a whole different. Like, wow, that's twenty years. That's horrible. I met somebody who, I think he robbed somebody when he was like 16, and they gave him 10 years. I'm like, I think there should, there should be really something in the judicial system that, like, counseling or discipline, like, send them to the army. That should be a bigger thing, like, because if you like discipline. So King Von should have went to the army? <laughs> they should have made him go, go to a, Iraq. <laughs> I mean, kids are doing stupid things, because I grew up in Nina, and... All them kids, they were stealing all the time. And just for no reason. You go to their house and they got million dollar homes. 
And they just steal for fun. Mm -hmm. And now I'm with them one time. Me and my friend, things with my friends. One time me and my friend got caught. And I bet you his parents blamed me hanging out with Levante. Uh-uh. He, he had me doing this. What if they black? Nah. Hanging out with that. <laughs> right, right with that Nina. <laughs> you weren't getting in trouble. No, nah, you wasn't getting caught. <laughs> Until me. And that was, I like 16. Well, kids do stupid stuff. Teenagers especially. But obviously there are very, they're like harsh crimes. Like, all right, yeah, you need to sit down, but. 10 years from a 16 year old. Cause I know all of us, everybody has done some terrible, stupid me. stuff at 16 years no, old. No, not me. I'll probably do like funny stuff. That's probably like bad, like Bart Simpson, but I never did nothing like that. I never. Like, you no. just told me you peed in your friend's locker. In Th high that's school. Bart Simpson's type stuff. Like. That's not Bart Simpson. That is uh, assault with a bodily fluid. And they should have gave you 10 years. For peeing in the locker? <laughs> no. It was a senior prank. And I already tell YouTube that. What about that time you, um, nah, that's a story for you to tell, but I what? think that is so funny. With the, um, when I flip my car? No, with the, uh, the federal agent. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you trying to make me look like I would. Yeah. I almost, I almost went to the feds. <laughs> me and my mama. He, my dad was like, you and your mama gonna go to jail. <laughs> Catch me if you can. <laughs> I'm out <funny>. of <laughs> Mars, let's go. Let's get up out of here. Let's go. <laughs> Take it away, Bruce. He was like, uh, um, no, that one thing he did. When I flipped my car, that one thing. Uh, when we was on the high speed check. No, no that one thing. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my straw? Where's my straw? I'm lucky, sorry. I keep looking for more wings. I ate it all. I'm starving. Papa said, Oh, you thought I was sick? Damn. You just get a little bit. And we need to get something to eat, get ready for this party. The we it's the, the boom boom room. I think I broke one too. Yeah, you gotta take care of, better care of yourself. You're getting old. <laughs> <laughs> Teeth. <laughs> mm, 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 you, gotta, mm, mm. you gotta brush them every now and then. You see a, you see you a. Me fuck oh, here we go. One thing I love about that self-serve machine is they got a. Is there stuff in my dude? I need to go get a haircut. Man, <laughs> <laughs> you always raping, dude. Like seriously, like oh my god, uh, <laughs> you are. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know how they do it in Milwaukee, but around these parts we got a little more decorum. Okay. What in Nina? The H. You, he be like, I'm from the A, and they're like, Oh, for real? I'll be so bothered by that. I'm like, He's not talking about Atlanta. What you talk about, D? Appleton. The A. That bothers you? Mm-hmm. Cause why are you trying to make it seem like you're from Cause where'd you be saying you're from? You be saying, I'm from the A. Like, why do you want people to know you're from Atlanta? No. Like, are you, are you embarrassed if of they, Nina? If they assume. Are you embarrassed of the shoot? Are you embarrassed of, are you embarrassed of Green Bay, Appleton? <laughs> no, if I say the A and you assume Atlanta, that's not on me. No, that is on you. No, cause. That is only you can't say I'm from that. That's like, dude, you made us look like fools at the camp. Dude was like, he, he we from okay. woo woo. He said they they said they was from somewhere. You was like, oh, I'm from the A. And he was like, then you was like Appleton. He like, boy, what the hell is an Appleton, boy? Yeah, you talking about? I thought you were talking about Atlanta. You know, he talking about some old shit. I don't even know what you talking about. Like, woo woo, they was on your ass for that. I don't care. I know. I'm but it's like, a. why 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 not be proud of being from? Because I'm not even from the A. You are from Atlanta. I mean, from Appleton. <laughs> I'm from Cleveland. No, you're not from Cleveland. <laughs> He's not from Cleveland. <laughs> I'm an Eastside Cleveland wild boy. You want me to show you my birth certificate? Yeah, you was probably born in Cleveland. You were born in Cleveland. You're from Appleton. I'm an Eastside Cleveland wild boy. Like my dad. He was born in Chicago from Milwaukee. I didn't grow up in Appleton. I didn't grow up in Appleton. 
You grew up in the Fox Valley. I grew up in Nina. The Fox Valleys, boy. Ain't nothing wrong with that, you know? And you grew up in Wabatosa. I wish I did, for real. But thank you for making me look like I'm a, um, a suburban dude. You are a suburban dude. Why are you baby like that? Why are you, why are you having me like that, dude? <laughs> Why do you always have to bait like that, dude? You think you're funny? Oh, you thought I was feeling you? Yeah, I think I'm funny. You saw, I told you I'm working on bits all the time. I'm about to start doing my comedy um, next week. Tell us one of your bits. All right. <clears throat> knock, knock. You got to turn that federal case into a bit. No, I'm not. I, no, I'm not doing that. Oh, it's still pending? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm playing. Don't say nothing crazy. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, would, I wouldn't do you like that. I know you care about. <gasps> no! I don't care. Ooh, I don't care. I swear to God, I don't care. On me, I don't care. What's your best bet? I don't know. As far as comedy. Mm -hmm. All right. So, an Asian guy, a black. <laughs> Oh, that food was tremendous. I was hoping you wasn't about to continue. Like, oh, <laughs> no, I would never. I may be a fool, but I ain't booboo the fool. Is there an actual booboo the fool? Who was Willie Lump Lump? You remember on Minnesota Society? He was like, you would be out here like Willie Lump Lump. He's like, who is Willie Lump Lump? Who probably, is Willie Lump Lump? Probably a dude named Willie who got lumped up. You ever been lumped up? No. Mm. Let me see. This dude named Jersey put some put some stings on me on the bus. I was pissed about that. And my I came to my auntie house and my uncle was like, damn boy, who fucked you? <laughs> but we was scrapping though. We was fighting. But and I went back to his house the next uh when we got suspended. <laughs> I went knocked to, on his door. I, yeah, his auntie was like, y'all get out my house now. I said, tell him to come outside. Because I want him parts again. Because he did love me a little bit. I ain't going to lie. So you can't fight? Yeah, you going to you gonna have some draws. I ain't never lost no fight. You just said you lost. No, I said he lumped me. I lumped him too. Oh. But he was a dude. He was our quarterback. His name was Jersey. Tag Jersey. And <laughs> let us know the real story. Oh, so Jersey ended up one day, so I ordered pizza. I ordered like fifty dollars worth of pizza at my crib. You know, we had a little because my little cousin had graduated or whatnot. So we ordered pizza at my crib, and I ordered like sixty dollars worth of pizza. He pull up to my crib, bro. It's Jersey. Oh, like Jersey, you're the pizza guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jersey, you're the pizza guy. Come on in. <laughs> Have a slice. Have a slice of pizza before you go back. <laughs> I should kick I your ass saw, right now. I just saw a meme on Facebook that said, oh, my God, I haven't seen you since high school. It said, okay, just put my fries in the bag. <laughs> oh, you're my pizza guy. I was like. He, he know I'm a funny dude, so he like, you you cry, you always cracking jokes. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, we was on a football team, dude. No, nah, he ain't with my ass. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little upset about this meal. It wasn't enough food. I'm full. Not me. I'm starving. But you know what? I've been starving. I've been so hungry lately. And you know, when I don't drink, I get I get a big sweet tooth, too. That's what, This is my first soda I probably had in months. Besides, I had one last night too. Yeah, it's a cream soda. They got um, cream they got soda. cream soda. Mm -hmm. What? But I got sweet tea though. It's amazing. You see, I faded. You a sweet tea? I faded, mom. You got me messed up. <laughs> I, I'll be almost be trying not to, bro. He be knowing how to trigger people with his uh little basket robin's head. Uh, on my mama. You ready to get out of here? I'm gonna have to go get something else to eat. I'm gonna have to go get a chicken sandwich or something. Where you gonna get a chicken sandwich from when we just ate chicken? In here. They got a chicken sandwich for $4.99. That shit, I don't like, I don't like their chicken sandwiches like that though. Their chicken sandwiches is pretty good. Well, that's why I was gonna get it, well not you. Cause I like it. Where can they find you? Levante 23. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, there was somewhere I wanted to go, but when it's sunny out, 
we gonna go. Uh, make sure to remind me. Um, you can find me on all my socials, L E C A R S O N. My shit, right? I need to get my motherfucker. Instagram, haircut. Snapchat, YouTube. Oh, yeah. Next time you see me, I will have a haircut. Oh, yeah. On mm -hmm. um, um, baby. Blair Kurt. You know, because God made me horn. You know, they talked about Jesus. <laughs> he burnt. Just to let y'all know. Don't. Everybody in the comments say, Lee Carson, uh, Snoop Troop. I'm going to edit hit this one. <laughs> no, you not. <laughs> When you're talking about me, I'm a, I know how to get to editing on wrong behalf of me. Other people, yeah. No, say what I'm going to start my own I, I need people to say what they say with their chest. I'm going to have to start my own thing, right? I'm going to lie to you because you tweaking. No, nah, I help you all. I got you. But thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, Go get you some Popeyes. Tell them Ellie Carson sent you and... Keep my shit been going, oh, see, no, you are not my bro. Please quit acting like you know me.